girls don't know enough about zombies. What's the choice of a shooter? Make sure the windows are locked before you come down to the basement. You'd better do what your dad says. Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Zombies Clips of the Week. And this is episode number two of this series. And if you guys want to submit your clips, it's going to be the top link in the description. Make sure that you guys follow the criteria of clips that are acceptable. Make sure they're not like full length videos. Try to keep them under like two minutes or so. And uh, hopefully you guys can have your clips shown in this series. So today we have two honorable mentions and five other clips. This is another top five. Maybe I'll add more in future episodes once we start getting more clips in but i hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado let's get right into it coming in at the number five spot we have a very interesting clip of leroy or arthur on buried this clip was submitted by the lucas 29 and as you can see something went wrong on pc and he just keeps running into the same barrier at the church where vulture is so I thought this was a pretty funny clip just because of how much of a fail this is because you literally can't do anything until you end the game and it is only on round one. So he probably took money out of the bank to even get there. And then when Leroy is just stuck there and can't do anything, uh, I just thought it was kind of funny. So I thought this was a very good example of a fail clip and I definitely think it deserved to be here in this video. I just think it's pretty funny. And there was some crazy music going on in this clip. And sorry, it's not like a normal size video. Uh, it's kind of square instead. I can't really change that. But uh, overall, definitely a very funny clip. And that one comes in at the number five spot. Coming in at the number four spot, we have Unknown Phantom who is playing Ascension in Zombies Chronicles. And he ends up actually slowing down the clip as well. But he gets red screen twice and manages to get out both times. Uh, which is obviously pretty impressive overall if you guys are going to show theater mode clips try to uh, remove the like menu if you can just so it's a little bit easier to see but as you can see he gets red screen slows it down and then is about to get hit again and manages to get the death machine and then he gets hit a few times in the back clears it out gets red screened again uh, and then he's able to make it out once again with the death machine as zombies are dropping right next to him from the window up top so definitely a pretty nice clip and pretty good clutch that he got out of those two red situations. Uh, obviously, like I would say that it's a little bit easier when you get a death machine dropping in front of you, but still uh, very impressive. Never want to go in that small opening area because uh, you can get trapped really, really easily. So that clip comes in at the number four spot. And coming in here at the number three spot, we have Agent Instakill, who's going to be playing one of the best maps in Zombies history, Shadows of Evil, the launch map for BO3. And he's going to call a tram. And eventually, once the tram actually gets there, there's going to be a Margwa that hops on the tram with him. And he manages to kill it. It's a pretty crazy clutch, to be honest. And I've definitely seen clips like this before. But I think that he got even more lucky than most people actually do. So as you can see, the trim is here, but you can't call it right away. There's a delay before you can call it again. And the Margwa is literally right there with all three heads. So he's going to shoot one head and try to call the tram as much as he can. And right there, the Margwa knocked off his shield. So he didn't have a shield and he called the tram and the Margwa is still here. And right before he gets slammed again, he shoots off one of the heads. So there's one head left and he pulls out his sword and starts swinging it now the margwa was about to slam and the only way to actually knock off a margwa's head with the sword is when it's open so he was super super close to downing right there as the tram was moving i thought this was a pretty good clutch it's a nice job agent insta kill let's see it again All right, guys, I just want to say sorry for the quality of this clip. It's not the greatest thing, but I thought it was a good clip. So 
We have Arold here who is playing Die Rise with his cousin split screen. These are the people you see in comments saying they always play with their cousin. Apparently, this is actually him playing with his cousin. So as you can see, he downed right here because he fell off the building onto this area, which is right next to the bank. So his cousin, or maybe it's him, uh, ends up going to revive him. And one of the craziest things about this clip is I have never seen someone survive this fall and somehow he he just survived like that never happens to me ever and I just thought that was a crazy thing he survived he landed on some like small thing that allowed him to survive I'm assuming uh, so definitely a very very lucky clutch nonetheless and definitely very very crazy so Anyways, guys, that I think that clip's awesome. Uh, overall, these are the type of things that you don't see very often in zombies, and I definitely think it's a great clip to submit for this series. So that one comes in here at the number two spot. Let's see the revive and jump one more time. All right, guys, so now it is time for the honorable mentions. Before we get to the number one spot, we have two this week, and the first one is going to be just in time. And as you can probably tell, he is pack-a-punching here on Kino. And as we all know, especially at the launch of Chronicles, one of the major problems with Kino is there was always zombies waiting for you at the end of the teleporter. So he's going to get insta downed and it's obviously a huge fail when stuff like this happens uh mostly on treyarch's fault because you know most people wouldn't just down like that maybe he could have got out of it if he shot his thunder gun fast enough but still that those clips like really annoy me i would have quit the game immediately if that happened to me and the other honorable mention is going to be from fierce gears who is playing on alpha omega and the thing that sucks about this clip and why it's kind of an honorable mention as well is because it's kind of a fail. Instead of not actually activating, Dying Wish does not activate and he ends up dying. Now, luckily in Black Ops 4, they have since fixed this, which is definitely a good thing. But this has been a problem for a long time in the game, pretty much since launch. And it just does not activate. And even when you have it fully activated, and like literally just by the perk, you can still die out completely. Now, sometimes it worked, but it didn't work all the time and usually resulted in a lot of games just ending from dying, unfortunately. So that clip is the other honorable mention. I definitely think it was cool to include those. There's so many like fails that I want to include in this series, but sometimes clutches are just a little bit better than fails. So I think honorable mention is a pretty good spot for those clips. And without further ado, guys, let's get right into the number one clip. All right, guys, so coming in at the number one spot, we have Jonah K, who is playing World at War, right? He's going to get literally red screen and then get slapped again by a zombie. And he somehow does not down, which is kind of absurd. Like, look how many times. And then he gets slapped again when red screen. Like, I don't even understand how he got out of this situation, to be honest with you guys. I don't even know how many times he got hit, but he you can clearly see he was red screen and then got hit one more time, which should not have happened. Like he definitely would have down. And the thing about World at War is like the zombies sometimes kind of stick to you, uh, which doesn't make sense. And somehow he still got out of it. Good thing he had monkeys as well, but it's always good to see like a classic World at War clip in this series as well. So let's watch it one more time. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you guys in the next Zombie Clips episode. Tomorrow I'm going to have my Mob of the Dead review and then on Sunday we have another Zombies quiz this time with Mr. Dalek JD. So hope to see you guys there in the comment section of those videos as well. Make sure to submit your clips and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Swing with it.